Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Kansas City Bitcoin Cryptocurrency Podcast. I am your host, Tim Lawrence. Welcome to the show. Uh, this is kind of another extension from the dApps, decentralized applications, um, blockchain-based games. And one that we all know and love very well is Upland. And I've done some segments on Uplanders. But this one is next level. We're always waiting in Upland for that next big thing to happen. And that might be a feature, a function, somebody, a new player. But really, what we see happen are uh, landmarks that are being auctioned off in the game. And as you know, the New York Stock Exchange has gone. Point Tower has gone. And now the Chrysler Building. It's, it's a huge monument in Manhattan, in NYC. And they do a, they do a reverse auction. So it starts at a, at a high level of price and then it moves down. Well, we knew it was going to happen and it went on uh, auction and like that, it got snagged up and we were kind of scratching our heads as to wonder, well, who is this guy? Who is this? Well, it's N Venom. I think I'm saying that right. Am I not? So awesome. Awesome. I understand something. We forgo our real life names when we step into the metaverses and we take on our in-game persona. So my name, myself, Uplando and N Venom. Ladies and gentlemen, the mystery auction winner of uh, the Chrysler building, it's Envenom. How's it going, guys? Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's Envenom. Man, it's a pleasure to have you on. I, I, I feel like I'm getting the inside scoop on this. I don't know what made me so special to be able to get that, but thank you so much for coming on. Tell us how you got into Upland. How did you find Upland and what made you decide you're going to go in so big? Um, actually, it's kind of a funny story. I was on Facebook and I had seen the ad kind of pop up and I don't really get on social media too much, but I was just on Facebook checking some stuff for my family and I saw the ad pop up and I said, hey, that's a game, but it's property trading. And I just kind of was like, okay, cool. So I, I got into it and I, um, to be honest with you, in the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing. I was kind of just lost in the wind and I had, you know, put maybe a hundred dollars in because I thought I wanted to try to buy a property here, buy a property there. And I saw these block explorers floating around with all kinds of coins next to them. And I was like, just kind of in awe. <laughs> yeah, so I, I made a bunch of kind of, I guess, not so great purchases. I didn't really know what I was doing. Welcome to Upland and Venom. That's how we all start. That's how we all feel that we start. And you know, what's interesting guys is that later on, we're setting this up a little bit to tell you what's coming up. So stay in, stay tuned. You're going to want to, you're going to want to focus in on this because some of the most amazing announcements are going to happen in this. So how, let's take a little, how long have you been in the game before you really started to get a hold of it? And then were you referred by anybody or did you start big? I, know, I just, I, I wasn't referred by anyone. I, I didn't know, I didn't even know the community existed, right? I just came in and I, um, I, 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 I really liked the idea. You know, I'm, I'm a, um, uh, electrical engineer. I have a de degree in computer science. So uh, for me, it's kind of like right up my alley, this kind of like metaverse, you know, and, and uh, I just thought it was kind of like a property trading game. And at first, it, it's what it was to me. And I watched some YouTube videos. And um, uh, I didn't really start understanding until I joined the Discord server. When I joined the Discord server, so I met guys uh, uh, on there like that would really like T Davis and, and these guys were, would answer questions for me and kind of help me point me in the right direction and i would just watch what other people were saying i would read um and i would learn so i learned a lot and i learned really fast um i, I at that time um outer sunset was still able to be minted and um so i was i started my my minting madness you know so to speak i started it in outer outer sunset and then when you say that we're all dying to know you don't have to answer the question what was your first entry into the game in terms of purchasing upex it was a hundred dollars yeah <laughs> that went quick <laughs> it was a hundred dollars and then it went from like i don't know if i was i went from like uplander to pro i was i was a pro pretty quick i i, I just kind of boom out there and then i i got to executive uh director and i got to executive probably like two weeks in i was already at executive uh, but that by that point i was putting like a thousand dollars a day and then i I um I started moving. I mean, I, I'm at the point where we're putting in. Oh, I'm putting in probably, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five grand a day. It's a little bit. And for players that are looking and listening to this right now, saying what? 
this game is attracting those types of players. I think it had always been that type of uh, diversification in players. Some people just want it for the playability of it. They like the idea of buy, sell, trade. Some people like the aspect of the Discord uh, chatting and getting to know people all the way up into doing these types of interviews and having interactions about what what these players, their little icon, who they are and what's behind them. You talked about Sunset. Outer Sunset is a neighborhood that is in San Francisco. And it started to get a lot of popularity about it selling out. The floor there was about 9,800 UPX or a little bit less. And people started picking it up. And you actually went in there and made a play for a lot of those properties. So continue on from there. Yeah, so I made a play for those properties. And while I was there, I, I noticed that a couple of the properties had like a little red star on top of them. And I said, well, okay. And I had kind of figured out collections, right? Collections are pretty easy to figure out in the game. You can buy, you get three properties or four properties in a certain area or a certain association, and then you get bonuses for that. And that those properties themselves are are um, uh, incentivized by by a bonus multiplier. So right. I, I um, started looking at that. I said, "What's this property with the red star on top of it?" And it turns out that those are inaugural properties, meaning. Those are properties that were the original properties that were, I, I think, purchased yes. at the beginning. You're right. Original properties were offered in the game. Some call them Genesis. Those were established 2019 inaugural properties. And then the gold ones, they also have an ultra rare uh, collection ability. But those are those belong in collections and they they do, are specified with pin drops on the map. So did you grab, did you start filling out your collections immediately and did you just start purchasing some of those properties? Yeah, I bought I bought those right. That's when I, that's where it started. That's when the, the 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 flip started for me is when I when I bought the inaugural properties because at that point I ju- I, t- I took the jump from putting like a hundred dollars a day and to putting like a thousand dollars in to get those properties because they weren't cheap. I mean, they still now the floor on them is like a thousand dollars each, but at the time it was like two three hundred bucks a piece, and I and I got them and um, I, I think I had to have four of them. I had to have four of them, and so you know you think. 300, 300, 300. It's like a twelve hundred dollar investment, and uh, at that point, I realized, like, wait a second, these are like stable coins. These, these, these particular properties are like, you know, always going to be worth something because they're the first properties in the first city, and it's, you know, what I mean. So, um, yeah, I, once I started to realize that, you know, there was a metaverse behind it, not just a property trading game, and it kind of, even still to this day, irks me that they say property virtual po- property trading game because I think that's phase one. Upland. That's really like phase A one, you know. And then they're going to do go into business. The sky's the limit on what you can do with Upland. And I see it. To me, I think it's a a extremely uh, uh, genius use of the blockchain. And I I um I love it. I I I, I love it. I think that there's a lot of other community members that, uh, especially the the higher level community members. Uh, that understand where where we're going with this. Uh, Upland is definitely not just a game. I think Upland is a ne- is the first step into real virtual uh, a living, you know, and and working. We are in open beta. We went from closed beta to open beta. That's where we are in this game. So we're still early on. People feel like they they didn't get in early enough, but we are still pretty early on. And this, what you did by purchasing that Chrysler building, and I just for people that don't trying to get their minds wrapped around it. That was a 25 million UPX purchase. That translate into fiat, into US dollars in this case, to 25,000. That's just shocking for a lot of people. And I'm not trying to out you, but I just am so, I know that everyone that's watching this, they're, they're almost wanting an explanation. What would drive you? What was the impetus behind you doing that to actually decide, I'm going to do this and make this purchase? I remember when we were chatting and I'd seen you on there and you said something big's going to happen. And then when I saw that auction go on, I thought, is he really going to buy the Chrysler building? And then it got minted. I was shocked. Tell us what made you do that. I think uh, the, the honest answer is I, I can see, I can see the future, right? I can foresee what that Chrysler building is going to actually mean. Right now it's a blue square to me on the, on the, you know, and it's, an, and it's an NFT, basically. I can go look at it on the blockchain. But realistically, in the future, once I, once we are able to build um, that building there, um, all of the other buildings are going to be affected by that particular building. All the other developments in the area are going to be affected by that particular building because that building is an iconic building. And, um, and uh, 
I, I just feel I feel like the the value of, of of that and landmarks in particular haven't yet been realized. I think that they could probably start the landmark auctions higher now. And and part of it for me was because you know I do a lot of work at the floor. I'm I'm minting properties at floor level. You know, I I felt like if I bought that at twenty five thousand, which was the initial offering price, that would be the most expensive building ever minted inside of Upland. And um, that would raise the floor. So, so what I did was I effectively raised the bar for everybody. And 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 I across the entire network of people, I raised the floor for everybody because that means like, hey, listen, there's properties going for twenty five thousand dollars. So these properties here that are maybe ten dollars or nine dollars or whatever are going to move up maybe a dollar or two, right? Yeah. Because uh, uh, it's it's just it's just kind of the way that it works. So. Uh, that being said, uh, there's a there's a couple of different reasons. There's no one single reason, but I do see the future. I, I believe that that particular building uh, and and all the landmark buildings, because they're going to be forced to be uh, similar to what they are in real life, are going to be uh, um, very very good purchases for for other uplanders in the future. Uh, I, I just, it's a no brainer. I mean, I I had offers instantly on it. You know, where people were going to buy them for me for. I mean, I could have got out double my money if I really wanted to, but I. I uh, I didn't. I listed it for as high as I possibly could, and unchecked um, my, you know, offer for UTX and offer for uh, property because I. And another thing, I almost instantly started happening is I started getting BS offers on it too. People were trying to, you know, it's something that's in the game. People will do that. They will. They will try and bait you into that, and maybe it's uh, out of a number of different reasons. But and when you say that you want to raise the floor, but it's like no. Don't you know everybody's still trying to get in and, and grab properties? Um, it's an amazing uh, uh, thing that 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 you decided to do and getting in here and playing it and understanding the game that quickly. Um, and some of the things that I want to talk about that I that I understand and am learning is so that people that are here now will be able to learn some of the tools, the mechanics that go on in the game. We sometimes suffer from the onboarding effect. New players that get into Discord, like yourself, if it wasn't for players like T. Davis, if it wasn't players like White Ferret, other players that are, um, that, that myself sometimes, yes, up Lando is there answering questions. We have such a desire to help players because it comes from maybe being in that, just from wherever, maybe however we were raised or how we feel that we can help players and how much that means to them. And we know that just one little thing, being nice, being helpful to one player can make their day so much. They in, in real life may not have the positive reinforcement that they get inside this community in this game. And I really was drawn in as T Davis was to the community and what they were able to do. What you're about ready to do is going to change the game. We're always waiting for it. We're always waiting for that next thing that takes it to the next level. You are about to do that. UP2.land, UDU. This is an amazing uh, concept turned into, it's coming. It is going to be a reality. And it is going to help not only level the playing field in terms of having tools, having education, and being informed of all things that are upland, NFTs, crypto, other. It's going to take us to the next level. What can you tell us about UP2 land and what the UDU is, sir? Yeah, well, I, I knew that question was coming. Um, so UP2.land is a property management companion app for Upland. Um, Upland is a genius uh, idea. It's a well thought out game, but I think that they focus heavily on the buying and selling aspect, which I which I want them to do. But I didn't think they, as far as a property management, like once you've bought or sold, what do you do with these properties that you have, you know? And you can't see them, you can't, you know, you, you, unless you go to the physical location where they are, you can't put them together on maybe like some kind of board and say, okay, I got these properties here, these properties here. Uh, so um, my background, uh, part of my background is, is software development. I have a company that it uh, has in-house developers that um, we we actually develop software for real life property management. And um, so for me, it was a no brainer to make a property management tool for Upland because number one, it, it's desperately needed. And number two, I already had the framework built. And really what you're talking about is this that you've created just in its alpha state 
is really amazing. It is taking all the parts of Upland that you have started from the beginning of a player and not knowing what you're doing all the way to the nth degree. You're really going to present Uplanders with a way and a mechanic, a tool set that they've been waiting for from the day that they started playing the game. So it really is a, is combining a lot of data sets, doing a lot of that, bringing it to a forefront dashboard and allowing people to have a different experience in management of their properties. It's super exciting. So can you tell us anything about how and when that will be released? And, and you said alpha. So is there alpha testers, beta testers, release time? What's going on? Yeah, so so our, our target goal is... Um, probably June for, for the full release um, between now and I'd say till May, we're going to be doing the alpha. And then from May until June, we'll be doing the beta and then we'll be full release in, in June. And that's, that's a, uh, gets given us some time. I, I, I'm going to try to push that, that mark forward more. I think that because the sooner that we can get it out, the better, but I also don't want to release a product that's half done or not, you know, um, uh, if if uh, maybe I'll, I'll I can ask the community and maybe the community might say hey listen we 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 don't care we just need it you know and we'll 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 deal with the bugs and uh, if if we can get a, like a unanimous kind of group of everybody together saying let's just push it and, and uh, everybody understands that we're working on it as we go and maybe maybe I might change my mind about that but currently June is is the uh, is the date in my mind um, at up 2land if you go there now you can sign up for a giveaway I'm doing of an inaugural property. And the reason why I chose the inaugural property is because that was my first property. It's the first property that I ever bought inside of Upland that was more than a $5 property. And um, uh, I'm going to be auctioning that, or I'm sorry, giving that away to one lucky person who gives us feedback. We're asking for feedback of issues that you've had within your experience with Upland because what you think will be able to, you know, would be able to add benefit to the game. And I've, I've gotten so many genius uh response 475 entries that's that's pretty huge if uh, if you think about it in respect to that's how many people we've been able to reach and touch with this idea um i i'm I, i'm optimistic i think that it's going to be great i you know i mean the software what we have coming is going to literally blow people's socks off i know we talk about let me i'll give you one first announcement that hasn't been said anywhere else except for within our secret top secret UDU servers this is um, from the lab, guys. This is straight from the lab, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make people wait for it. I know they they wanted you to say it right there, and they're gonna they're gonna want to string me up. They're gonna want to wring my neck for not letting you say it right away. I wanted to tell everyone get you get yourself over to up2.land, and anybody who has ever had any kind of frustration in the game, tell Ben Venom what it is that you would like to see as a feature, and so that they can have on the platform as many features possible that are available to players so that that frustration is checked off the, the list. Because that's the thing that I really dug about you is that you're, you're, you're a passion guy, man. You had a lot of passion for what you were seeing and you didn't want people to struggle like you struggled. So get over there, submit your information, submit what you want as far as a feature and you could win an inaugural property, amazing. And then tell us what you have coming. Tell us the first little tidbit. Okay, so it's been confirmed 100% that we will be, uh, along with the property management aspect of the game, we will, we will be, ha or, or of the app, we will be having in-app chat as well as in-app video chat and in-app video meetings. So instead of having to take all this stuff to Zoom, you can do it instantly in-app uh, video meetings. So we can set up a real quick business meeting. You can say, hey, let's link be on the chat and then we can have our, our in-app meeting real quick and make these business decisions because realistically in my mind and the way I'm pushing my developers to, to, to develop is this is a business platform where we're doing business. It's an actual business. So, so uh, I think that the difference between an, uh, somebody who just plays upland and somebody who is a, a, a real professional upland player is the point that you realize that this is not just a game. It's the point that you realize that there is a, a, a significant uh, impact that this game is going to have on, on everybody's daily lives eventually. And, and it's not maybe not necessarily going to be Upland that impacts your life, but it's going to be Upland is laying the groundwork for the future 
that that looks like this, the virtual future, virtual businesses. I mean, I'm getting ready on a couple of different deals to start virtual business with uh, virtual business partners, right? Now, if that doesn't, if that sounds strange and, and outlandish to you, the bottom line is it's true. It's happening. It's this is this is really happening, and we are serious. We are we are driven. We are dedicated. I have some of the most uh, genius people on my team uh, that that you could possibly imagine, and um, they they are all motivated. They all have the same goal as us. We're building virtual business. We're building a virtual metaverse. We're taking what Upland has given us and running with it uh, to a point that I don't think anybody's going to even fathom or understand. You know, uh, um, it's just the sky's the limit. And that's literally the truth. I mean, if you could sit and say, you and I are sitting around talking about the invention of the internet or the invention of email, right? That's literally how we feel about Upland. It's, it's, that's, and blockchain in general, but Upland being a, a platform for us to to um, move this forward. That's how we feel. And, and, and I really feel it's coming. So to go back kind of say, hey, why did you buy the Chrysler building at $25,000? Well, that's the, kind of the answer to that. It's like, this is the future. And and it's either we get on board or we we don't, you know. So we're getting on board, and uh, that kind of segues into what UDU is. UDU is Upland Development United. It started as MTU, which was Mountain Terrace United. That's a neighborhood inside of San Francisco. Uh, was completely bought out by a player named Ben Sixty Eight. Uh, he wanted to start a business there, and he had an idea that he would separate the neighborhood into kind of like a business area and a residential area, and kind of if you build it, they will come. And he kind of started the to sell out uh, this area to other like-minded business people that would want to live and work in the same place as him virtually. But, but so I, I uh, had, and and Ben is 68 is a great guy. He's, he's, he's amazing, super smart dude. Um, I, I started conversations with him and uh, I bought into the MTU, which was Mountain Terrace United. Um, And um, we just started buying everything. Um, And we had guys like DJ shorts who was in there and he was, we were kind of like dynamic duo with Ben and we were pumping it. Nobody had ever seen any kind of energy that I was bringing to the game. I and mean, we, we were screaming and yelling at our keyboards, you know, yeah, we would take a whole freaking neighborhood and just, I mean, it would just be like, if you could see my block explorers trail, it's a trail of blue behind me, just, just like a, a bulldozer, you know? And um, that got everybody on the MTU team excited. They're like, okay, this is, I mean, this is the most fun we've ever had in Upland. Let's just hit it, you know. So I grabbed Balboa Terrace, and I own 85%, I think, of Balboa Terrace. 78 to 85. I don't know exactly what the number is, but I own our BTU, uh, Balboa Terrace United, controlling interest is about 80% in Balboa Terrace. So that's 80% of those properties are ours. Um, And uh, we're working towards uh, a full 100%. But in order to be, uh, uh, oh, that's, that's, that's how we started the, UDU, Upland Development United, was the Balboa Terrace United and the Mountain Terrace United. I'm sorry, Midtown Terrace United. We, we combine them. And so I run the BTU, Ben 68 runs the MTU. And um, we recently made some other deals across the map that I think are going to shock everybody playing Upland. As, I mean, you're dropping all this information and you and yet there's still more. There's still more. I don't understand. It's just it's mind boggling. I love it. I love that you guys are, you've got your, you know, your symbol and your logo and your, your, your groups and your, look, if this is how things get done. It's revolutionary or it's, it's a movement. And that's how things progress in the game. And people never thought that you would do something like that or think that way and go in and do it. And I don't think it's about more of a flex, more of a, an ego thing. I, I really do, and I hope, and I think that you, this is, you guys are doing something to really bring an element to the game and to the business side of this that you already are aware of what getting in early at this phase and at this stage and being able to do this means. Is it, is it true that you may have landed on and are acquiring or gaining some more players that are joining the UDU. Can you tell us any of those players besides Ben 68? Is there anything that you could tell us? Um, just real quick, I want to touch on, on the flexing thing. Um, I know that maybe people might think that by my play style, my play style is aggressive. I'm aggressive. Uh, I'm, I'm competitive. I, I 
I see others doing stuff and I want to do that too. I, I think, why can I do what this guy's doing? Or why, why can I do that? Guy, or why can I do that better? But it's not a flexing thing for me. I'm bringing it onto the blockchain. I'm saying, you exist, you exist, you exist, you exist. Why is that important? Well, it's the same reason why we're pushing the Mint to San Francisco right now. Because if we collectively, you to you or collectively as Uplanders, go out and mint everything, it's going to force the Upland team to open more areas, right? So instead of buying P2P, I don't, I honestly, if, if I don't understand, understand, nor do I ever understand unless it's like a really big purchase, um, why somebody would buy from somebody else in an area that still has unminted properties. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. I think that you should buy uh, properties in areas that are fully minted. If you want to be there, right, fine. And try to find a good deal or work out a deal. But you should never buy a property in an area that right next to that property is a minted, unminted spot. Spot. You could get the unminted price or the minted price versus some kind of 1.5 or 1.3 or whatever it is uh, times whatever, you know. Uh, uh, so so big mistake for any new uplender would be to buy from somebody in a, a area that's still has gray squares or gray rectangles, please mint in those areas. If you can mint, mint, you'll make more money. You'll do better for the game. You do better for yourself. That's, that's a pro tip for me to you guys uh, um, do it like that. So sorry about that. I just had to say that it's no, it, it's absolutely not, not an ego thing. I'm, I'm trying to build the game and help the game. And I think that that $25,000 purchase would prove that that's true. But um, it's so funny that you say that in Venom because right now, T. Davis is having the biggest chuckle he's ever had because we're having this conversation. You said that I, the first time my name was ever mentioned was from T. Davis on UPX podcast. And he had, uh, they asked him what was going on in Manhattan and some other things. And he says, you know, Orlando recently made, I think it was pro or director. I can't remember which one. And he said, and he did it all on secondary property purchases. And they were like, what? And <laughs> I got to tell you, it was my not understanding the game that well. And FOMO, I had Upland FOMO, and I wanted those collections. So I was doing the same thing you did. I was buying up collections then in somewhere that had already been minted, and there was no other way for me to get them but to buy secondary property. So there is a reason. But what you're saying is 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 really the tip. Make every purchase count. Well, so listen, I'm not saying don't buy from other players. You know, and I'm not saying if you want to, if you want a, a collection. You know, don't get the collection that you want. No, I bought a park view uh, uh, property because it was part of the park view collection in, in Central Park. I, I mean, and it cost me a thousand bucks. And that wasn't meant, that was way above meant. I, I didn't want to look at meant on that property because I know I got freaking handed to, right? But if you, if you, if you're in an area, what my, my, if you're in an area where there's not really a collection and you're just kind of buying in that area, you might like the name or you might like the properties there, you might know it in real life or whatever the case may be. If you see, unminted properties versus the little dark green squares where you're going to buy from somebody else mint the properties versus buy from somebody else if there's no reason why you're going to buy from it, if it's not a deal or not something you know not specifically why you want and i think that new players don't know that i think they don't understand like no no mint you're getting way better deal than you're getting you're going to get marked up over here um so i'm just trying to give that little tidbit of knowledge because that's what really pushes that's what drives us that's what drives me at least to wake up and get on that uh, keyboard. I'm I'm on the keyboard uh, from four in the morning or at night. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm sleeping for four or five hours and and uh, going right back at it. So uh, money never sleeps, and and uh, so I need to get out there and mint as much as I can because I want Oakland to open up. I want to get out there and and mint up Oakland too, so we can move on to maybe somewhere else in the world, which would be kind of interesting and fun for me too. The big announcement is is that as a, as of Tonight, actually, right before I got here, um, we're the UDU has a brand new uh, NDN, which is a new node, which would be uh, Little Italy. Uh, Little Italy, that's T Davis, that's B Dag, that's Wicked Bomber, that's all the guys that are associated with Little Italy. They're all uh, now part of the UDU uh, um, cooperative. Wow, that's huge. You're you're throwing out players' names that have been in this game for a while and to have the cohesiveness all together of what you're doing that is that is absolutely oh that's wow that is amazing that's an amazing drop of news and information you guys just i don't know if you quite heard that right so t davis in little italy his project that he has nurtured 
from a very you know early time in. Um, and that's now part of the UDU, and he's he's working with you guys, and that's amazing. Uh, Little Italy still remains Little Italy. They will have a UDU uh, moniker on their branding uh, somewhere there, um, and they will be part of all the UDU uh, meetings and everything going forward. Um, but like you said, it's a huge deal. We know it is. We don't take it lightly. We love those guys over there. They're all amazing. They all bring amazing skills to the table, and, and Little Italy is going to be amazing. Uh, I think that really what, what it does is we, we put everything kind of um, uh, um, together. You know, Upland Development United, it, the name just it allows us to develop Upland and unite other co-ops together, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're, 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 we're developing, we're minting, and we're uniting other co-ops and us and 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 uh we're always open you know if, if somebody feels that their co-op might have something to offer us uh get a hold of ben get a hold of myself get a hold of t davis you know we we can we can discuss this stuff i mean we we're we're we want to make um a competitive market but at the same time we don't want to step on our on our friends toes and we want to you know make sure there's enough there's going to be enough business opportunities out there for everyone, I think. I think it's going to be amazing. Just the one thing, and that, uh, just on closing, I can give you is that the, the UDU is not just an organization for Wales. Um, we we bring on new players. Uh, we Anybody that can, can kind of see the benefit of what we do, we have entry-level properties that you can get into in BTU that are not, are not going to break the bank uh, pretty close to floor, actually. Um, we just require that you buy three properties in, in any any node in order to be a part of the, what what the deal is. We we want to uh, um, we want to make the price high enough though that we discourage people just trying to come into UDU and flipping properties. We don't want to have to do that. Uh, we'd rather not deal with that. But but I've brought on today alone probably about four or five uh, um, uplanders of different levels, and none of them were at um, executives. They were all from director to pro to and and they all they all see the UDUs. Uh, vision and they all want to be a part of something bigger and and when you get that what you get is you get access to the udu server where everybody's there all the way t davis myself ben 68 pj short and you can just you know it, it's it's like you can see the the inside scoop of what we're going to do and you know we always you know average okay we're going to go here we're going to go I'll, I'll give you a good example is um lone mountain we, we decided uh just a couple of hours before i came on here to make a move on lone mountain Lone Mountain is a neighborhood, and, and it's the highest price for UP2 in the game. So, I mean, it's like, I think it's like for 30 UP2, it's like 20,000 20, UPX. So, we had 300 and something, I think 319 or 340 properties left. And uh, inside the UDU server, we collectively made a decision that we were going to move on it. And I think in 10 minutes, we had it minted fully. Yeah, if for those who don't know who where it is, it's right. It's on the corner of the Golden Gate Park. It, it's it's just right there. It tees in, at the end of it. It's got the corner there. Um, it's it's beautiful. It's got some amazing open park areas. I think that one of the things that people worry about is you know this is rebuild the world in your image. Some of the other players uh, like myself and uh, Mars Utah. You know, Mars owns CBGBs, and I always feared that that would be turned into something else. And when I found out that Mars owned it, and I talked to him, and he was like, "Dude, we're good. that's going to be the club. We're not changing it. That's going to be what it is." And I was like, "Yes." So I hope that in some of these areas, you keep that which is original to the game and put your twist on it. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So, so we are. That's our goal. You know, I, I, I um. I don't, I mean, I don't really have, I, I would like to like rebuild the world, obviously, like, like you said, with our spin on it, but it, just like the, uh, the Chrysler building, you know, the Chrysler building is going to be the Chrysler building. That is the UP2.land and UDU East Coast headquarters. So stop by, come see us, visit us. Everybody's welcome to come check out what we have. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to be doing some cool stuff there for giveaways and, and stuff like that. So um, all that being said, I uh, love Upland, the game. It's it's it, To me, it's not just a game. It's a metaverse. It allows us an opportunity. I'm working constantly, nonstop. If you see my Block Explorer flying by and you see those properties getting eaten up, just know that it's for the better good of the game. I, I'm, I'm willing to put as much as I have to into it in order to um, get everybody on board and, and get UP2.land uh, uh, out there and make all these ideas, these great ideas that you and I have. Uh, uh, for, come to fruition so um you know i uh, i appreciate you know the the community interest and and to one thing that one thing i can't say is that this community has class and dignity and respect when i bought that building i spent probably 
six hours straight of just getting nothing but love from the community. Not one negative response. I mean, a lot of people could have said, oh, you're crazy. or you're not. not one negative response, nothing but love. Uh, and and to me, that uh, that shows the class and dignity that this community has. So on that, you know, that's kind of, you know, appreciate everything you guys do. And let's keep going. And UDU is here to stay. UPT Land's coming soon. Oh, my God. This is amazing. We've, we've covered a lot of ground. And uh, again, I am so appreciative, very honored to have you on and talk about what you're doing. I just think that this is an amazing milestone in the game and it is an evolution of the game that you are bringing to it and from what you've talked about in your plans and some of the things little tidbits that i got to know i really believe that the tools that we've all been asking for and wanting you're going to be able to place into all of the players hands not just some of them but all of them have the opportunity to utilize those tools and you're going to bring a new aspect to the game, which is the communication. If I want to offer you property and you want to counter offer me and we get to talk back and forth, that also opens up the relationship part of this, the community part of this, which I hope everybody keeps strong. And to your uh, to your great words about people congratulating you and keeping it real and, and being having integrity and playing with honor. Keep that going forward. Is there any last things, little tidbits, anything else you want to say before we close it out with the people? Other than that, no, actually, thank you so much uh, for your time. I appreciate you having me on. Um, I think you, I think as the community is going to start seeing a lot more of this, yeah. you and I, are uh, um, uh, you're a great guy. And uh, as, as far as Upland is concerned, we are here to stay. The U to you, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, we'll be putting out our meeting this Tuesday uh, uh, coming up. So our, and that's Tuesday Pacific time. So I don't know if it's other parts of the, the world. Um, but uh, our, our our group meeting uh, will be there, and that will be with all the new players uh, on a Zoom. We're going to record it, and then we're going to release that out to uh, to YouTube, so you can see, you guys can see what our plans are. You know, there's no you know we're we're transparent across the board, even to the point where we're going to release all of our meetings publicly, so people can see what we're doing. For everybody here at KCBC, Kansas City Bitcoin Cryptocurrency. And for everyone that's playing Upland, you crypto and NFT guys and girls that are stopping by, this has been Uplando and Invenom. I, again, want to thank you so much. It's been an amazing uh, time, and we look forward to seeing more and more of UDU uh, and the UP2.land. Thank you, all, man. I can't wait to deliver. It's a tall order, but I can't wait to deliver on, on all the promises. Uh, I, it's, it means a lot to me, and hopefully we can get you guys something as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Thank you.